Hello my dear friends, my name is Avi Gyan Tiwari, working as an assistant professor at SITS Bhopal. So today we are going to see the uh, sixth number of practical of theory of computation. So it says, uh, we'll have to design a program for creating a machine which count number of ones and zeros in a given string. So let's see how we are going to make this one. So uh, please try to understand that we need some kind of output. While seeing this number of ones, we need some kind of output. So for output with FA, we know this, we have Mire machine and Mure machine. So we'll use that approach. We'll create that machine and after that we'll try to implement that machine so that we are going to design this program. So, let's see the... Netbins. Let me start my netbins. Okay, now let's try to see the code. Okay, so... So first of all what we need, we want to count the number of 1s and zeros. So for that we can make a million machine. So in single state we are going to solve this, uh, the uh, program. Okay, so let's see the concept. Uh, after getting 1 as an input, what we want? We want to give output. Let us suppose I will give A. And this A should be added somewhere so that I can, at last I can uh, count the number of A's and I am going to get the how many number of ones comes here. And similarly for 0 I am going to do this one. So if I will take as an input 0, what I will do? I am going to get input as a B. Okay. That's all. Okay. So this is a single state. Whatever you want, you can name it. So in this state if I will give 1. I am going to get A, if I'll get, I will get, if I am going to give 0, I am going to get B. So, the number of A's and the number of B's is going to give you the count of number of 1 and number of 0. Let's see how I, we have implemented this one here itself. Okay. So, let's come down. So we have this one. So here we have declared some kind of variables. So let's see how we are going to use this one. And I have made two array list. Okay. So if you don't know about array list, uh, go and see the collection. Okay. So in Java we have collection. So by using that one we can do this one. Okay. So I have made this two array list here. So initially we have completed is given there. So this is the message which we are going to see. And by uh, you making the object of a scanner class, we are going to take the input from the user and if a user gives an input exit, the system will be get exited, otherwise we will move forward. Here we have take the string length, okay. So if a string length is greater than 0, what does it mean? It means we have some element. Here we have checked the input is in the form of only 1s and zeros. So what this is where we have made a loop of a string length and here we are checking that the string is should be in the form of 1 and 0. If it is not in the form of 1 and 0 then it will again going to give you this message and we are again in the initial state waiting for a valid input. If the input is valid we will move towards this first, this first method. Okay. So let's see what we have written in this first method. This is a very simple logic. We have compare should be less than length so comparator is initially zero and it should be less than length okay definitely so it means we have some kind of a stream so at initial whatever with the uh, is character it is given in a string we are going to take it from this method char at the string at index number zero we have a character it can be one it can be zero if it is one what we'll do we'll increment the comparator part by one and after that what we are going to add the output of this one that is a to a array list a l okay this array list already declared at the starting of this program we have seen that one okay so if we will find one what we will do we will increment the index value and the output a will be added to this array list okay and again we will call the first method itself okay 
so if the number of ones come four to five times let us suppose so we'll have five a will be added to this array list if character is zero then we'll move to this part and the output is b and it will be added to the dl that is the second array list and if the string get exhausted completely here what happen we are move toward this else part see what is happening here so we have this we are going to print the size of al that is the list and we are going to set uh, print the list of bl okay so how the number of a's and number of b's is going to give you the number of ones and the number of zeros in what in our program okay and uh, we have made an object here of this class itself see the object oriented concept related to this one so we have made this object here and we call the initial method initial is going to call the first one okay so initial where we are taking a valid input okay let's try to see the output so in output section i am going to give you some kind of value that is 1010 in the form any 1100 okay and we put the enter see the number of 1% in a string is 5 we have five ones 1 2 3 4 5 okay and uh, the number of 0% is 4 1 2 3 4 okay if you want you can again give a number and again you can check the validity of this program so by having this way we are going to implement implement the six number practical okay so again so we have successfully successfully made this one and last but not the least thanks for thanks for watching this video and stay tuned and keep learning okay thanks thanks a lot for watching this